We're based in the Burren National Park, so just in Boston Village. The farm has been in the O'Rourke family for five generations. So when I met my husband, it was inevitable that I'd have to move from my lovely County Cavan to the rocky ground of Clare, which I absolutely adore now. When I saw the land and the farm where Cahill was, it was a no-brainer that I wanted to come and live here. I was in sales for a lot of years, and when I quit that, I said I might be able to get a bit more hands-on and give my husband a hand with the farm. So I love the calves, so it was obvious I would be able to help out. As things progressed, I thought, is there any other way we can diversify things? So I decided to look at other opportunities. And because of the number of tourists visiting the Cliffs of Moher and looking at the, Nas the Bourne National Park itself, I decided that the tourist route would be a positive way to go. So I educated myself in tour guiding, and then I decided that we would open up the farm. And because we have enough land for people to actually take a step out and they can see the vast differences, even within the farm, we've got ancient forest, we've got three national monuments on the farm, we've got a lake on the farm, so we have a lot to offer for people to come and see. What we're doing here kind of shouts out to people that, yeah, you can be involved in farming, you don't have to milk the cows or actually do the silage. There's loads of other things and I think the eco-tourism industry is just really in its infancy now and it's growing so much that we as women have to take a role in that. I have three little girls and I want them to see that I'm able to have a really good positive impact on what we do and hopefully in the future they'll become involved in the business as well. I go to bed every night and I wake up every morning with a new plan. We've got a derelict house on the land and we're hoping to turn that into tea rooms. After that then we may get involved and have pods on the land as well for glamping, which is an area of considerable growth at the moment. So sometimes when I get my teeth into something, it may seem very hard and very in the future, but actually ends up happening way quicker than we thought. Like this year was all about getting the, the word out and the message out about Bourne Farm Experience and we've done that and now we're up for an award so it's fantastic and it's not just me, it's Cahill, it's the community as well for supporting us and things like Cara Boyle, promoting women in farming I think is just such a really positive message.